How's it going, fam? Hey, Nicole, are we having a call later, right? Excited, excited, excited. How's it going, guys? Hope everybody's having a fantastic day and the end of the week. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I always put up a few beats so that I um I get started and, you know, with a bit of momentum here and there. Guys, thank you so much. Jack Talman, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. I know... Uh, today's show is going to be very relevant to a lot of people. Russ Crawley, thank you so much for tuning on. Uh, Robert, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody else. Um, yeah, first of all, I really do apologize. Yesterday, I got caught up. Um, you know, this whole thing about getting famous and doing stuff. People always want a piece of you. So I got invited to some um, event I'll be sharing with you. In the next week, as soon as I get the rights to it, um, obviously. But for those that don't know me, my name is Prosper Tarowinga, and I actually help businesses like yours grow essentially through digital marketing strategies, okay? So every single day, well, not exactly like that, but when I'm available, um, you know, we get to sit around at 2 p.m. AEST and we talk for 30 minutes so we can discuss ways to actually help you earn more money all right, with less struggle. There's a lot going on around uh, on the market right now, so you can pick and choose if this is your thing, but today we're actually talking about how to stop being mediocre, how to stop being average, and how to actually start standing out in your um, community, and how to actually become a success using the skills you already have, and the energy, the zeal, the tenacity, and all the people that you already know, okay? So if you're not playing the big game, maybe you're not going to enjoy this show today. So I wouldn't mind if you just maybe um, see yourself out and don't let the door hit you on your way out. Okay, I want to talk to people that want to create a legacy. I want to talk to people that want to create lasting businesses that they're going to handball to their kids, to their descendants, and everybody else that matters to them. I want to talk to people that actually care that people will miss them when they die. Those are the kind of people I want on my show today. It might sound a bit spooky for those that are not enlightened, but I want you to know one thing. You are going to die, okay? You are going to die at some point, so you might as well leave a lasting legacy. You might as well start crafting a legacy so that you don't die, all right? A lot of people that we know and a lot of people that have come before us have just, you know, been born, had the kids, did a job, um, you know, got a disease and died, all right. I don't want you to be like that. I want you to be known. I want that what you create or what I'm going to help you create is going to last and transcend generations. All right. You see all the other, um, you know, cheapskates have already started living. We don't care. We really want to talk to people that want to build a lasting business. We want to talk to people that really want legacy. All right. Um, if you follow me that well, you'd have noticed in the morning I asked um, a couple of questions and I was like, I don't do this for you. No, 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 no. I don't do this for any one of these people that are coming through to my profiles. I do this for my grandkids. I do this so that they would have a sense of pride. They would have a sense of belonging because I brought them into a country that does not belong to them. So if they have a granddad that fought the battle, that did the thing for them, they have something to stand on. All right. A lot of us have come in here as immigrants. A lot of us have come in, coming in from somewhere, but our parents haven't done jack a diddly for us to actually even claim to think that this is our place or to actually claim to think that what we have or what we are going to produce belongs to us because they haven't made it stick. They haven't made it last. I want the buck to stop with you in this generation. I want you to lay claim so that you can start really creating wealth for the future generations and you're not just going to be a has-been. Do you know what I mean? A lot of us are just walking around here. We haven't created anything or our parents did not even create anything. We're starting from scratch. I don't know about you, but I don't want my kids to go through that. I don't want my kids to not know where college is going to come from. 
I don't want my kids to be treated, um, to, for people to be racist on them. You know why? The, the reason people become racist on you is because you're not contributing anything to society. That is the actual truth. Have you ever seen people being racist to Jay-Z? Have you ever seen people being racist to people like Obama or something like that? If you're contributing something and you're actually doing something to society, nobody has time to be racist to you. They're actually looking up to you and hoping that you do something. So that's what I want to create. That's what I want to create. So I want to create a legacy that you too can be a part of. Why don't you wish that for yourself? So I'm going to ask you just one question. If you're watching this video right now, thank you so much. The other scrappy ones have already come in and left. You know why? Because, yeah, that's, that's who they are. You and me are going to have a lunch conversation and we're really going to talk about how we can craft your legacy, how we can craft your message, and what you really, really need to do to stand out, which is not much. Most of the things that you really have to do to stand out is to be yourself. Because every single one of you guys is unique. Every one of you guys has a story. Your life story and your experience have got so much um, you know, commercial value than you could ever dream of. Everyone that we know or that we respect that has done something with their lives in the history or in, in, in the past is because they stood against the grain. They stood against the norm. They stood against every societal expectation or societal box that there is. No one would ever touch you if you're so proud of yourself, if you're so you know, confident in what you're going to do. Because you know why? You've earned it. All right? But then the problem now that happens is we now need to correct our vision. All right? A lot of us are short-sighted. A lot of us just worry about trivial matters. What am I going to wear tomorrow? Or what am I going to look like? Or do people even like you? Nobody cares. And the more you start thinking of small trivial issues, the more you are not going to be looking at the bigger picture. And you know what people really respect? The bigger picture. You know? Every day, you know, when you're running a business, I, I admit, it's not easy. Every, you know, all the small nitty-gritty stuff of your business, it's, it's easy to, to just focus on what would get you through the one hour, what would get you through the next day or the week, just like today is a Friday like this. And then... Even though, you know, it's, it's, it's called safety mode, just to make sure that you're not embarrassing yourself, you're just doing enough to stay relevant, you won't stand out and nobody will remember you or talk about you at a barbecue. But if you really, really want to emerge and to really cultivate all the hustle you've been putting in so that it's not all going to go to waste, you have to start looking further than next week further than next month, further than next year, further than next generation. You have to be talking about the day you actually die, how many people are going to come to your funeral. And how many people and how long would it take for people to remember you and how long would your legacy last? Now, when you start thinking that broad, you can then work backwards as in which people do you want around you at the day, um, you know, on your last days? Which people do you want around you to talk about you on, on your obituaries? What do you want people to say? You start crafting that now. You know, the approach of this day-to-day -day trivia, oh my God, I'm too fat today, or oh my God, uh, my nails. Nobody's going to care whether you were fat, you were orange, you were black, you were white. No one is going to give a rat's at. Ass. That was, that was a typo in my mouth. Don't, don't put that with the legacy I can speak. But you, you get what I mean, though. Nobody's going to care whether you're fat. Nobody's going to care whether you, you drank whatever, concussion. People are going to care what you did. People are going to care what you left. Now, every single day you're being given an opportunity to leave something of substance. What have you left? What are you leaving? Do you know what I mean? While the approach of your day-to-day, -day, you know, complexities, worried about, you know, the way your face looks, are you ugly. It's fine. But your work is beautiful. Your heart is beautiful. You're fat. Who cares? 
but your heart beats in a way that people will be like, oh my God, I love that person. Well, the approach of worrying what the media says about you, or, you know, it's, it's, it's always necessary to survive mere mortals. None of these people around you are going to be remembered anyway. Right now, can you type in the comments below? Can you just type in, who would you want to have lunch with? Somebody who's died um, already but still inspires you. Can you type somebody who's, who's, who's a legend in your life and they're dead but they still inspire you? Can you type their name in there? My people are Steve Jobs. My people are the Wright brothers. Um, uh, Albert Einstein. Who still inspires you with their work or whatever they did but they're already dead? Can you please type in there? You know? The real McCoy is in the house. Maxell Gravis is in the house. Hey, Nicole, can you type somebody who actually inspires you, but they're dead, they're not there anymore? Russ, your father, thank you. Sterling Walker, former director of engineering and development at NASA Kennedy Space Center. Einstein. All right? All of these people, do you think that there were no other none people around them that were just being very trivial about the way their nails looked that nobody even remembers. Einstein was not the only person that was surviving during the time when he was born. Martin Luther King, Jim Rohn, they, these people is because they have left something. That's the reason why they're still inspirational. That's the reason why you're talking about them today, but they're long gone. Do you think Jim Rohn did not have some people around him that were worried about their weight and then they didn't, you know, and, and then they didn't do anything or didn't show up, but nobody remembers who they were? Nobody cares about you. They don't even care at all. But you should make them care with your work, what you touch, who you inspire. If you really want to see that people don't care, don't show up on Facebook tomorrow. Or take a photo with people. Today is a Friday. Take a photo with friends, um, you know, at the club tonight or whatever. And then, and then don't smile in that photo or make your ugliest face. And try and see if your friends are going to be worried if you're not looking good in that photo. You're the only person that would worry. So if you are living a day-to-day -day life, sorry about you, mate. Nobody's going to nobody's going to even care about you tomorrow. That's that's how how human beings are like. All right? Yes, it might help, you know, with the with the day-to-day -day approach, you know, the small necessities are needed for you to get your company off the ground, but don't let that let, take you off the the, the full-time focus of your long-term goals. Because once you know that my mission is to have a lot of people inspired, do you think a small comment on Facebook will bother you? If your mission is to impact a hundred kids or one million kids, do you think somebody not liking your status on Facebook will bother you? Because you're not doing it for the likes. You're doing it for the long-term game. My biggest fear, I'll tell you right now, is to be when I'm 92 and I'm sitting on the front porch and I'm sitting enjoying and I'm, and I'm trying to tell my kids or my grandkids, you know, not to do something. And then, then they'll just be like, you know what, granddad, what, what have you got to show for what you did? What did you do? Why did you even leave Zimbabwe? How am I going to answer that? So that's why I got to work. You know, I'm just working so that I have dignity in my future life. Don't you wish that for yourself? Some of us are just being caught up with many, many meaningless work, which is not even helping anyone. We're doing it just so that we get the next paycheck. But how is that going to help you? How is that going to help anyone if you are not actually doing things that are valuable? Yeah? Yeah? You should look beyond what you've created because you've been hustling, right? And if you're not going to create something that will transcend you, then what, what, what is the purpose of you working today? you got to make sure whatever you're doing is leaving a lasting tribute. And the only way you can actually leave legacy is to think right now about how you're going to start living, how you're going to start acting, and who you're going to start associating with.
Start with the end in mind. Actually define what matters to you in the long term. Do you want, um, you know, happier relationships? Do you want happy people around you? And start formulating the bigger vision. Because if you start, you know, tripping over, you know, meaningless things, you won't go any further. Your vision has to be your legacy. Every single day, focus on how your steps today are going to get you to the end goal. And reverse engineer the way you want to go. Do you know what I mean? You get caught up in the drama of the, of the struggles happening around instead of focusing on the vision of your end goal. And you start cheating yourself out of creating something that will actually stand the test of time. Because every single day, everything you do matters. Every person you talk to matters. Every life you touch matters. Every video you share matters. This is the part where you get to share the video when I say every video you share matters. Because it's also part of your legacy, you know. So live now with the end in mind. And the thing is, if you are the person that actually knows what your end is going to be, that's how it makes a story. And people love stories. And that's the only thing that actually makes people want to know what you're about. But if you're just going to be, you know, following other people's footsteps, when, when people start talking about their legacy, I'm sorry, your name won't be mentioned. Do you know what I mean? So instead of worrying about, you know, the little neat pickers that are around you, um, I'll, I'll tell you a story about the Wilbur brothers. When they made flights in December of 19... Come on, Prosper, you got this. 1903, the Wilbur brothers. When was the last time you took a flight? Can you type in when, you, when the last time you took a flight? Can you type in the day, the, the month of the last time you took a flight? Did you know that it was the Wilbur brothers, I think it was Wilbur and uh, Oville Wright, that made the first flight? But amongst all the time that they were trying to fly, there was also this guy, um, Samuel Langley, who was being sponsored by the government. He had all the suits, he had all the followers, he had all the, you know, the, the big time money sponsoring him. He had all the funding, he had all the VC capital, he had all the, um, you know, what do you call it? He had everything coming on for him. But then the Wright brothers did not have that. They funded their own, um, you know, um, adventure with their own pocket money so don't worry about you know all those entrepreneurs that are being funded or whatever it is because it would never amount to anything they don't have what's called sweat equity because we get caught up in thinking oh I'm gonna have to sell this company or I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get funding etc etc that's not gonna work with you it's not gonna work for you the Wright brothers went ahead and did it by themselves and the people that were funded failed now tell me who won. Don't get caught up in what's happening around you. Focus on creating and crafting your own story. And when you do have a good story to tell, I trust you, people will be there to listen. But if you've got no story to tell, and if you're not crafting every single day to make it, you know, you make it worthwhile, then it's not going to help you. Duncan Saga. Bambo. You know? So, you know, when you're going hand in hand with a big vision, you know, you know, getting yourself in the right mentality as soon as possible is the right way to go, guys. And for every entrepreneur and for people that are in business like you and me, that means getting out of your day to day, you know, business humdrum. Focus on, you know, where it is that you want to go. The sooner you can realize what skills you're really good at and the sooner you can ha get people that can help you, you know, with, with all the trivial stuff, the further you will go. Think about it. Do you think, you know, Steve Jobs would have been successful if he spent all his time trying to do or update his social media posts or, uh, or do his weekly payroll? Focus on what you're really good at and outsource everything else. Because then when you start updating your Facebook status, you then get caught up in the whole, oh my God, people didn't like my status. I must be boring. And then at the end of the day, and Priscilla says, oh my God, first live I've seen awesome shit from the US. Priscilla, thank you so much. Nicole, thank you so much. Everybody else that's watching, come on. A round of applause. Y'all amazing. Because you know what? 
you guys know what it means and what it takes to actually succeed. All right. So being able to actually just start working on things that you absolutely love, start working on things and stop being a micromanager and being too perfect. The right brothers kept falling. The right brothers kept, you know, falling from the sky. But at the end of the day, they had a flying machine. If they just wanted to be perfectionist, do you think we'll be flying today? No way. No way. We wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Legacies aren't left by one-off activities. It's the little accessories that you pick up along the way. Do you know? So start thinking right now. You want to you wanna really start working on what you absolutely love so that that is the story that will be told about you. And then focus on being innovative because you're the only person that can relate that story. Nobody can tell it better than you because your life story and your experience have better, have greater commercial value than you could ever think of. There's a lot of things that you've gone through in life that other people are trying to, 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 to avoid. There's a lot of mistakes that you'd have done in your life and you now know the answers. Why don't you create something out of that so that you can help those people to, you know, shorten their learning curve instead of just following other people that are telling their own story. Who's going to listen to your story? Yeah, you, you really got to create things that are, are, are and, and, and at the end of the day, the more people get to hear you, the more people would want to support your cause. People who always want to, you know, you know, help, what do they say? People would always want to buy from a city they helped to build. If they see you happening, then it, it, will, it will make it, you know, easy for them to, to want to be part of who you are. And people buy from those that they know, like, and trust. If nobody's talking about you, then there's, there's not going to be anything that, that people would know about you. Andre Miller, thank you so much for tuning in. Nicole, thanks for sharing, man. Yeah? Because if you start focusing on trivial issues, that's all you're going to have. But if you focus on the end in sight, if you focus on, on things that actually matter for humanity, because we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. Now, a lot of people don't do all three. They just come here to live and they get caught up in the whole living. They don't even learn the mistakes they're supposed to learn and they don't even contribute. All right. The more you contribute, the more fulfilled you become as a person and the more people open up to you. You know why? Because you are helping them have a happier existence. Now, you no longer have to worry about, you know, you know, being put in front of, 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 of anyone. You become the source of all the things that you're looking for in life. Just create what you want and then people will really come around and grab it. You know what? Just be an awesome human being. Stop getting caught up in trivial issues. If it's not directly affecting you, there's no need for you to change your profile picture. Your profile picture is not helping. It's actually showing the mediocrity that you succumb to because somebody can just tell you to, to, to stand to the left and you don't even question it. And that's the reason why you're not standing out because you're not questioning the story. You're not trying to change anything and you're not trying to exist As soon as you know who you're supposed to be, the, 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 the way will come, the how will come. But most of us are really afraid of showing our true colors. And then eventually we don't stand out. I mean, when you start a business, it's, it's, it's everyone's desire and, and obligation to leave a clear, dynamic and long lasting legacy. You know? Rick Martin says, but people like to see my beautiful face. <laughs> Great stuff. Yes, and what Marcel says, focus. Follow one course until successful. Focus. Just stick to one thing. Be known for something. What will people call you for? What are you known for in your industry? Once people start knowing you for something, you stop being average. Yeah? I know, you know, building a legacy and being known on the, on the market is hard work. But knowing where to begin is also the toughest part. 
Start where you are right now. Start creating memories with the people around you. Start getting known for something. And you only get known for something if you're persistent at it. And you only get persistent at something if you really, really are passionate about it. Do something you absolutely love so that everybody else will talk about you, know about you, and you're not going to be a one-click wonder. Stop being average. Because you're, you're literally just being an average of somebody else who failed. You know? Everyone is going to leave a legacy. That's a given fact. Everyone is going to leave a legacy. The only question is, will it be the one you desire? Will it be the one that you want? Right now, whatever you're doing, whatever, whatever mini mediocre stuff that you, you are doing or contributing into, into humanity, you are still living a legacy. But is that one to be remembered or is it one that people would want to uh, you know, move forward with? A strong legacy is not constructed overnight, guys. Do you know what I mean? One, one's legacy is an entire body of the work over your whole lifetime. And every minute matters. Every day matters. People like Steve Jobs. Do you know what I mean? They left um, you know, a successful position in their industry. And now Apple is the most viable company of all time. But he was not the first person to discover the smartphone. And if you ask me, I don't think he's even the person who engineered it. But the people that were around him, but the fact that he made them do that, and then he took, you know, you know, you know, he took responsibility of being the face of the brand. Figure out what you're good at and find people that can pretty much help you. The way you do that is you define yourself. Because if you don't know what's important to you, if you don't know what your values are, if you don't know what defines you as a person, if you don't know what defines you as a business person, as a global citizen, you can't really define your legacy for others so that they can passionately embrace it. Have a story. You already have one, but you're not growing into it. That's where your legacy lies. Every single thing that you're doing every single day. Do you know what I mean? And you want to start early. Why wait, you know, if you wait until you get the right moment, the moment will never be right. So begin planning your unique, you know what I mean, dynamic legacy right now. You, you have waited too long. Most of you are already above 25 years old. That's 25 years of undocumented history that nobody is going to know about. And that's, that was the making of you. All right? So you, for you to actually build a story that people would want to follow, it takes full time. It takes full commi you know, um, commitment. And it won't be defined by a single event. It will be the little accessories that you're picking up every single day. And if your legacy is divine, defined by a single event, it's not going to last. Is that what you want? So continuously grow, continuously contribute. And make sure that you're being of value because you get paid in direct accordance to the value that you bring into the society. Now what will people pay you for? What will people talk about? What will people say or mention about you at a barbecue? Look at the body of work that you've created so far. What can be done to highlight what you've accomplished? You've done a lot. Don't let it all go to waste. How can you extend the value of your previous successes and how can you leverage your past successes and create future ones from those? Look at things that you studied before. Look at people that you've connected with before. Just because of your, your own mood, just because of your own, um, you, know, you know, mindset, you probably let go of people that could actually help you in the future. Find out who of those people that you connected with in the past that you can reconnect with in the future to help you move forward. That's how legacies are built. Do you know what I mean? It's not all about you. If you really want, you know, your business to go further, 
empower other people as you go as you go along. Yeah? Inspire other people to help you and, and, and push you forward. Because it's not gonna you're not gonna do this by yourself. And in the process, if you're looking forward, like I said, if you have the bigger picture, you being fat, you being ugly, you being orange, you being black, you being Asian, you being African, it doesn't matter. What matters is the work you produce. What matters is the results. Have a fantastic weekend, guys. Go in and start thinking real deep. Who do you want at your funeral? What do you want them to say? And start creating that. Alright? Start creating that. Because every time you're going somewhere, you put the address of your GPS at, uh, you know, uh, uh, you, of where you want to go. And then, it's not a straight line, it just gets all squiggly. Figure that out. Who? You are going to die some point. But at least you got to leave a story that people would want to talk about and share about. Alright? At the end of the day, this was the last video for this week. I really hope you're going to have a fantastic weekend. Care about who people are going to say you are. Don't care about what's in there. What's in there doesn't matter because you crippled yourself already. If you were going to be somebody, you would have been. But you're stopping yourself. Alright? I really hope you're going to have a fantastic weekend. I really hope that, you know, this video is going to, um, you know, open up your mind to thinking in a, in a totally different way. Once you start thinking in the bigger picture, you're not going to worry how fat you are. You're not going to worry where you're from. You're not going to worry about trivial things because nobody's going to write on your arbitrary, here lies a fat man. All right? Thank you so much. Have a fantastic weekend, guys. And let's continue this conversation below. Thank you so much.